So you want to buy a house on Long Island? Here's five real estate terms you should know. Buying your first home can be overwhelming. There's so much that you don't know. That's why it's important to have a good realtor. Let's discuss five terms that you should know when purchasing your home. Number one, pre-approval, pre-qualification. Some banks use these terms interchangeably, but they are very different. A pre-qualification is a verbal conversation with the lender. There is no documentation involved, or sometimes they'll run a few documents, but not the whole thing. A pre-approval is a fully documented inquiry to make sure that you are really qualified to buy a house. When doing a pre-approval, make sure that you ask your lender what taxes are involved with that amount that they're giving you. Just remember, if the price is higher but the taxes are lower, you might be able to afford the house. And if the taxes are higher but the price is lower, same thing. Did you know that the taxes have more of an effect on your monthly payment than the price of the house does? With today's rates, every $10,000 in the price of the house actually costs you $50 a month. But every $1,200 a month in taxes actually costs you $100 a month. Number two, the down payment. There are grants and programs and loans that tell you that you can buy a house with no money down, but that's not technically true. No seller is going to pull their house off the market if you have no money to put down on contract. Basically, that money says, hey, I'm serious, I'm gonna buy your home, and here's my down payment to show my good faith. If you're doing a VA loan and it's 100% financing, you still do have to put money into contract. And then what people do is they get that money back at the closing. Number three, title insurance. Title insurance protects you financially. Your lawyer will order title insurance just to make sure that you're protected. Let's just say, for instance, the previous owner had a judgment against them. This title insurance protects you from being liable for their debt. The title company will run a title search to make sure that there's nothing currently on the home. But if somebody does come up and let's say it hadn't hit the report yet, now you're protected. Number four, escrow. When you give your down payment on the home, it goes into an escrow account. Let's just say something comes up during the title report. Maybe there's a CO missing that they started but stopped, so the town knows about it. They haven't completed it. What they'll sometimes do is put money into that escrow account, so after you close, that money is sitting there until that problem is resolved. This way, they can draw against that money in order to pay it off so it doesn't become the buyer's debt. Number five, Zillow. It's great looking at Zillow. It's so easy to navigate, but don't believe Zillow. The taxes are always wrong, and if it says for sale, call your agent or the listing agent to verify it is truly for sale. As agents, we are not allowed to put something as pending until both parties sign the contract, and that can sometimes take a week or two. So there you have it. Five terms that you should know when buying a home. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and comment below. Check out my video on how to repair your credit. I'm Karen Roth from REMAX Integrity Leaders. I'll see you soon.